Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about personal finance. We also talk about business finance and dividend passive income stocks. Uh, if you're new, please click the subscribe button here, and please click the notification bell to get my frequent updates. Well, today's video is going to be about my top stocks of the day. Uh, but if you did watch my video yesterday, I did talk about the SVB uh, issue. The customers did get their funds today. So that did happen on Monday afternoon. So Silicon Valley Bank was rescued. Uh, but today uh, we'll go ahead and talk, talk about the stock market in general. OK, so we'll talk about my top stocks. We'll also talk about the banking crisis. Hedge funds are going after the uh, banks that might not be shored up. Uh, so we'll see here uh, a couple of banks. Uh, Bank of Hawaii is down over 27% over the last week. Uh, since bas basically the hedge funds are looking for weak banks, banks that are um, underfunded and possibly could have a run on a bank. So number one, we have uh, over the last week, Bank of Hawaii is down over 27% over the last week. Uh, for today... Uh, opening up today, it was down over 18%. Okay, so that was Bank of Hawaii. Uh, the next bank, uh, Commercial Bank, if you live in California, you're, you're probably very familiar with Commercial Bank. I used to live in Santa Cruz, so uh, Commercial Bank was down over 34%. Again, hedge funds are going after all these banks that may be underfunded, okay, that could possibly have a bank run like Silicon Valley. Uh, commercial bank today was down over 27%. And then after hours, it peaked up over 5.71%. And the last bank I'll talk about really quickly, uh, Pac West or Pacific Western Bank. Again, if you live in uh, San Diego, LA area, you're probably familiar with Pac West Bank was down over 59% and did not recover after hours. So this may not be good. This Pac West was down over 50 nine percent on the week okay so it looks like okay so yeah so after hours pack weds did recover up 13 percent okay so this is uh going with biden for the fact that he said all depositors will be backstopped no matter what so even if the bank gets shut if you're a depositor you will get at minimum up to 250k if that's how much you have in the account so that will be fdic federal uh, department insured. Okay, so this is PacWest uh, was down on the day another 21%. And that was in addition to the 30% on Friday. Okay, that was when the uh, Silicon Valley Bank first shuttered. Uh, PacWest was down the other day over 30%. Okay, let's go to really quickly CNBC. It says um, something broke. Okay, so uh, something broke, uh, but the Fed is still expected to go through with the rate hike. Now, we're expecting a 25 basis points or 0.25%. Remember, the CPI data comes out tomorrow. And again, they're talking about why Signature Bank was seized in the third biggest bank failure. Again, Signature Bank uh, collapsed as well. Uh, pretty much uh, hedge funds were after them as well. Okay. Uh, so essentially, the long-term uh, treasuries that banks bought left them uncovered to afford to cash those in. So if you buy a treasury for four years, you can't cash it in earlier. So that's what banks end up doing. And therefore they were limited in the amount of funds they could distribute to customers. Okay. So um, banks came up short because they bought treasury notes for four years instead of for a shorter time span. And, uh, so the bond market recession is a warning as things have gotten more urgent. And again, CPI data comes out tomorrow. That is the inflation numbers. Uh, the inflation numbers come out tomorrow. Uh, CPI data also says here, regulators may try to find a buyer for Silicon Valley Bank. Okay, so that's still going on. But again, as far as if you're a depositor, you're still covered, okay? Uh, the uh, FDIC, the Treasury, um, who else? Uh, Janet Yellen, the Treasury, FDIC, and Powell have all come together and agreed they will 
cover the depositors, okay? We are in a possible banking crisis, okay? And if they keep rising rates, it's going to continue to get worse, all right? So mortgage rates tumble in wake of banking failures, okay? This is another way banks bring in revenue is mortgages. So if the, country, if the banks can start creating more mortgages and get more deposits, this can more secure the banks, okay? So uh, we'll see what happens if the Fed, Jerome Powell, and his, and his uh, people continue to uh, what they call quantitative tightening uh, when they probably should be doing quantitative easing, okay? But looks like it says here the Fed is still expected to go through with the hikes on tomorrow, okay, based off the CPI data, all right? Now, let's get to the stocks really quickly. Uh, we were up slightly today, 0.42% in the Robin Hood. Uh, pretty much the day was pretty bad up until about um, 10 o'clock after uh, the president Biden came on about 10 o'clock today. And he started saying that all uh, customers are secure in U.S. banks. You will be covered uh, either 250000 or more. Uh, if you're a business, you will be covered for all deposits. That means you can make your payroll, et cetera. Okay. So the stock market started recovering, uh, but didn't really get too above. Uh, so as you can see, we're slightly up on the day, 0.42%, not much of a gain. Uh, again, for the most of the day, we were down over 1.38%. Okay. So let's take a quick look at Stocks here. Uh, okay, so we had a couple of stocks up today. Uh, looks like we had Amazon. Some of the big tech companies did well. Amazon was up 2.17%. Coinbase, Coinbase again was up 12.57. Again, uh, if we checked out Bitcoin today, Bitcoin surged as people fled the banks, actually, okay? So essentially, we have a problem right now in the U.S. People are moving their money out of U.S. banks into Bitcoin, and some of them are just moving from your small bank or your regional bank to J.P. Morgan or any of your big banks like J.P. Morgan, like Bank of America or Wells Fargo, okay? Those three main banks, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan and maybe Citibank are all the major banks. Okay. They're covered by the federal government. They have balance sheets worth trillions of dollars. Okay. So as people exited smaller banks, uh, they went into Bitcoin as well as JP Morgan, uh, US B uh, Bank, uh, Wells Fargo, and others alike. Okay. So Bitcoin did search today and Coinbase, one of the main, uh, Bitcoin exchanges surged today over 10.66% on fears of the uh, solvency of smaller and regional banks, okay? So many people uh, feared, uh, lined up at not only uh, Silicon Valley Bank to get their deposit, people lined up at First Republic Bank, people lined up at uh, PacWest Bank, so several banks people lined up at today, and others just transferred their money into Coinbase to buy Bitcoin, all right, so that's why we saw Coinbase surge today. Some confidence there. People are moving their money into Bitcoin. Uh, what else happened today? Uh, Datadog was up 2.24%. And what else? Positive. Okay, I think those are all the stocks I wanted to cover today. Again, uh, just a few stocks out there. Microsoft was up 2.52%. Um, and like I said, Coinbase, Coinbase, uh, saw a surge of Bitcoin deposits. Uh, let's take a quick look at the TD account. Uh, okay. The TD account was down 0.22%, but the top stock today was Microsoft up 2.58. Tesla came in second. American Tower came in at 2.65%. Apple, uh, was up 1.61%. Uh, and charge point was up 1.24%. So these were the top stops, Microsoft, Tesla, America Tower, Apple, and ChargePoint, all right? And for the stocks that were down pretty much, 
were the financials, uh, one main holdings, which is loans was down 6.7%. Uh, another re regional bank, Regions Financial Corp was down 7%. Uh, Capital uh, Conical Phillips was down 3.28%. Uh, American Express was down 4.35%. Capital One Financial was down 4.78%. Uh, Ford, Ford Motor Company was down 0.58, not too bad. And last of the finances, uh, well, Bank of America was down 4.36. Uh, and SoFi, SoFi Bank, again, they were down today uh, slightly 0.54%. Now, also, we did get some news over the weekend. Uh, Anthony Noto, the CEO of SoFi, did step in and buy more shares, okay? But the stock has dropped precipitously as the fears of the run on the bank at Silicon Valley, okay? So, again, a lot of um, resi resilience from technology stocks, but all financial stocks took a hit today, some down as much as 30%, some down 10%. And even in my portfolio, some down as much as 7%. Okay, so Regis Financial, which uh, does pay a dividend, is a regional bank, was down over 7%. So again, all banks are being hit as the uh, insolvency of the Silicon Valley Bank has run. And like I said, we're not doing as bad as PacWest, down over 21%. Commercial Bank, over down over 27%. And Bank of Hawaii down over 18% on the day. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. If you like to get started in your investment journey, please use my Robinhood link below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.